Hey guys, what's going on? This is a new episode on my meta report mini series where I show you what people are running and running and using in the top ladder that you may not have experienced just yet. So use these secret texts before they get popular and gain some easy ranking points. Today we're going to talk about Life Orb Lapras. Before we start the video, I'd like to say thank you so much. I have been doing the bare minimum this month for video production and streaming every Friday at 7pm UK time at twitch.tv slash ppl15 join me and follow me there but if, if you haven't already but enough with the self-promotion thank you guys for staying with me i've been playing other games for the past month dota addiction is real however i'll start by being more active i've got a few video ideas in plan i need to make before the expansion pack so stay tuned so for the question of the day as i haven't done this for a while what are your guys looking forward to in the expansion pack for me urshifu having a way to go through protect and max guard is absolutely insane how did they even come to the conclusion of giving this mon such an op move i guess the birds are cool too but really free protect that that's absolutely insane that's gonna make mind games a little bit easier uh, for you guys i wonder what people are gonna do to play against that and uh, yeah i'm hoping i'm looking forward to how people like uh play <laughs> play against urshifu but that's all dependent on if it's allowed in the VGC format as well. People have been experimenting with Life Orb Lapras and why do people use it is because this is the middle ground between weakness policy and light clay. This allows the Lapras to be always offensive threat without needing to self proc weakness policy as priority moves that hit Lapras are not on Pokemon that can do minimal damage and could be really difficult to fit in for into your team such as Conkelda, Mag Punch just does way too much damage to Lapras however the other alternative of Hitmontop might not be as good as a Pokemon for your team. Also, as a lot of Pokemon are running, a lot of people are actually running Light Clay on Lapras because it's more consistent as you always get eight turns of screens. So that's Aurora Veil, which is absolutely broken and it is really good for stall and tanky team lineups, which wins the war of attrition. However, the downside of this is because you may not have enough damage to kill the opponent's lead for a Parasong late game win condition. Thus, Life Orb La Lapras steps in and has been on the rise as it provides the Lapras offensive potential and also defensive potential, hitting this middle ground of getting screens up and enabling yourself to offset the Life Orb damage with damage mitigation. Also, the damage on Life Orb Lapras is pretty good. I don't have any solid counts, however, watch it in action, boys. We'll be soon able to get the second emoticon and then we can upload some more art finally. I don't have anything installed but I've been thinking. Alright, what what do we do here? I think Frost Moth again is is great. Question mark. Probably well it's not that great, but it's okay. I think Frost Moth in the bag might be good, but we can see. Like we can switch out into Lapras. If Frostmorph is kind of contested. And I guess we'll go with Conkelda. I don't want to bring Dragapult Mimikyu, I know it's very strong. In like every single scenario. It's just broken. That wasn't a crit on the on the on the Ferrothorn last game either though. So it just legitimately killed it at minus two from fake tears. Holy, that that's insane, man! <laughs> no, they have counted me, boys. They have counted me. But have or have they? I should have went with the Lapras here. I kind of should have expected the Torkoal. But do we just spam Blizzard anyway? I don't think that's a good idea. Anyway, so I think we're going to go with the Hypnosis here. I think uh, and we're going to switch out to the Lapras here as well. We could have done a double switch too. I should have just straight up led with it. 
Corruption. Let's see how much damage this does to Lapras. If it's too much, it'll be... Oh no. <laughs> That's kind of bad. That's a lot of damage. Quickly check the Pokemons. Could send out Dusclops here. I want to set weather to uh, to rain first, though. We are gonna Dynamax, even though we are kind of weakened. We should outspeed with the Lapras as well. Uh, we don't kill Incineroar in Sun. Sun is my the hugest weak, the biggest weakness I have right now. Yeah, that's kind of unexpected, man. <laughs> How much damage that did in, in the sun. Maybe it was going to kill the incineral. But Drain Punch kills the Incineroar too. Solar Beam? That's a throw if I've seen one. What? That's the biggest throw I've seen for a while. Solar Beam. <laughs> what was he thinking? Oh. Oh. After... He has after you, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll just mag punch the Torkoal. Uh, I, I don't know if this kills though. Hmm. I think it's better to set up the the resonance just in case something weird happens, right? With the after you play. Lightning Torkoal. Thunder Punch. Nah, he's gonna go for the after you, man. But I, I definitely know that Stirpuff has Yawn, so I do have to, I do have to Lightning Terrain up soon. He can't switch out. Like, didn't think Stirpuff was faster. No, Stirpuff is it's hella fast, man. Haha, <laughs> this is where the fun this is where the fire punch comes in handy, right? No well wait, has he Dynamax yet? Yo, this guy hasn't Dynamax yet. That's a problem. Just casually going in. <laughs> yeah, Rapids went deep, man. He went deep, dude. I think the Mag Punch kills the slurp off. Not too sure though. But it's, I hope it does. Yo, welcome, welcome, Mr. I'm not sure. How's it, how have you been doing, man? Have you had a great week? I'm like... This week, I've just been so addicted to Dota 2. I've just been playing that non-stop. But I'll, I'm gonna definitely be super addicted to um, Pokemon when the expansion pack comes out. Unless it's like a really short expansion pack, which will be really sad. Yeah, thank you for the rice ball spams, man. And for the gift subs, man. Really appreciate it. I'm so not interested in the expansion pack at all. What, Nani? How come, man? Haha, this is where the frost moth comes in handy at the back. The strongest of the moths. I'm just hoping the new multiplayer functions will be fun. The new multiplayer functions um, is coming in the next expansion pack in full. Okay, let's see how much fun punch fire punch does in the rain. Um, 
What is the best thing to lock myself into? Blizzard? Or Air Slash? Or Bug Buzz? That's not even this exp yeah, this expansion pack is kind of weak compared to the later one, I feel. Like the multiplayer one, there needs to be a multiplayer function all the time, I think. Okay, I'm going to lock myself into Air Slash. This could be wrong, but we'll see. Ooze! Yes! Yes, look how tanky the Frost Moth is. I think Blizzard would have killed, but it could have missed as well. Well, in rain, fire punch doesn't do too bad damage actually. <laughs> this guy's like, yo, how is this moth so tanky? Little does he know, ice scales. What's your Instagram? My Instagram's at pbrm5. Is that your portfolio? Um, no. Uh, if you want to see my portfolio, you can go to my website. I can link that. But you can Well, my portfolio is kind of Instagram as well. I have, I don't post that much on the book, but I can link it to you. But my website is a mess right now, so. Uh, Let me link that to you. Here you go. And my web and my Instagram. I updated it recently, but I don't put all my work up there. 